getting the getting the wheels and tires out. Bummer is I bought I bought these tires separate a while ago from a guy on Craigslist. Hundred bucks, killer tires. Um, but one's not holding there, so I bought the tires a while ago and uh, and pulled the wheels and the old wheels and tires off of the '66 and then put the two together and threw them in the back of my truck and me and the property owner couldn't conglomerate on meeting um, for a while, so they've been in the back of the truck. And I didn't realize that one of them was leaking air. So classic, uh, classic Nico days. I got three tires and once sort of flat, so I'll have to put the ones on it that I have, um, and then get the tire fixed and come back and do the whole the whole dance again. So we're just gonna do that. Dorian's boogieing down a little bit. <laughs> that's the that's the, the late night late night floss. We're flossing the Cadillac right now. So took these starters yesterday to O'Reilly's. This is for a 70 Cadillac Eldorado. That one's for a 70, 75 Sedan Deville. Both of these starters work. I thought one of them was bad. The, the starter and the Eldo I've replaced like four times and it keeps going bad. I should just put one of the old ones back in. Now that I got the wiring situated, you guys will see the Eldo, don't worry. I'll be in another vid. Getting it. <laughs> <laughs> just lock the keys in the carpet. So for those of you that don't like guys and wear gloves, I got, that's what I got for you. Um, they protect my hands. I don't like cut scratches or infections. I don't like my hands looking like dog meat at the end of the day. I like my wife wanting to hold my hand and letting me hug her with my hands. I'm also a professional in the daytime, so I need to have presentable hands when I'm working my nine to five. So yes, I wear gloves and keep your hands warm. So again, that's for people that don't like guys that wear gloves. I can just, yeah, I can just hear these guys. Oh, I can't wear it with gloves on. Oh, how can you work like that? Well, I can't work with broken fingernails catching on bolts while I'm bleeding all over the screw that I'm trying to put inside of an exhaust manifold and grease is packing inside of my fingernails at the same time. I can't work like that. Gloves rock. Oh, you already got one. Let's do this. Oh. Some broken toe. This would be way better in the day, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be fun. Honestly, I just need the light. I can't see anything. Okay. Shouldn't take the jack stands out. Oh, it's elevated in the air. Yeah, I know. Weighs 4,800 pounds, I believe. Wow, it's wow, the worst. Wow, it's All right, I'm gonna eat my own words. Shouldn't have taken the jack sand out. Can you imagine having a Prius on the side of the road with a bumper jack? In the rain, with an angry wife inside. You'd have to get this rear end up so high to sneak this wheel on because of the, the fender opening. Man, I'm sure many of you guys lost their fingers or toes because they weren't wearing gloves. Or their lives. These cars are crushing me. Makes you think. I just really want to see what this is going to look like on the ground with wheels. 
Tires. 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 This is tire. Four kinds of tire in life. There's a tire. There's a tire that you put on your roof. There's a tire that you climb up into. Look out from. Look out tar. That's the fourth one. Dave Pike, if you're out there listening, you've got to tell me the fourth one. Find my cross. A wheel. Tar arms. You my tar arms. Get on that ladder over here, boy. Oh my. Wonderful. Can you believe that's a good starter? That is awesome, man. GM knew what they were doing in 1975. Tar arm. Tar. What's the fourth tar? I forgot it was. Can you see some? Yeah. Full moon? <laughs> really wish I didn't sell my portable air compressor that I just sold like three weeks ago. It had pneumatic, pneumatic assistance. Shine the light on me. In case you guys are wondering why I have my pant leg rolled up halfway to my crotch, it's just got a new piece on my calf. So, feelings, baby. This is my boy Noe, OJ Mexico, Ojinaga. If you guys need some some good tattoo work, that's 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 the man to go to. That was a 10 hour piece, man. Roll me a wheel. Roll that wheel. Oh, uh, this legs. is the flat one. Put your legs. This is the flat one. Well, that's not the one we want. Is it? No. Oh, you guys are. Oh, 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 oh. Cameraman almost got it. <laughs> and some bystander. Roll us another one, DJ. Well, for those of you who didn't hear what, what I was talking about on my calf, me and uh, a few buddies of mine, we have the local, one of a, a few uh, local Cadillac car clubs, we're called the De Villains. Uh, we got a Facebook page, hashtag De Villains, hashtag I don't care, hashtag I don't social media yet, but I'm gonna create a De Villains webpage that's a well, Twitter page or Instabook or whatever that crap is. Just kidding. Hashtag, I gotta get my shit together so I can uh, have a, a hashtag for the building's webpage. But we are on Facebook and then uh, the local Albuquerque car scene. So for any Cadillac guys out there that are in New Mexico, hit us up. We're pre-72 Cadillacs. Uh, that's about it, they gotta be cool. We're not into all the showy I got 49 TV screens in my steering wheel or PlayStations in the trunk or anything. We don't do cool stuff like that. But we do like white walls and we do like the low life. Uh, so if you guys want to come check us out or do a meet and greet or something in a different city or state, hit us up. On the drive. All my stuff drives, so I can drive anywhere. Anywhere in the U.S. usually, unless it's in Albuquerque, then all my shit breaks down. But if I go out of town, my stuff usually runs. And there I sound. <laughs> that one goes up there. Huh? Boys, can I tell you something? You enjoy every minute with your dad mm -hmm. because when you get older, like me, I think back into the times that we did really fun things like this. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool because then you have those memories. So enjoy every minute. And make sure you make a mental note on your head so that you remember it when you get older. Yeah. Because it's a lot of fun when you get older and you can remember all these things. You go back to thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, totally. And my, like you're doing the car thing, my dad did a horse. Oh, he's in the horses? Wait, but he had the, did the movie, remember? Oh, yeah. So yeah. he got me a horse. 
he never, he didn't even ride before the movie. Really? Yeah, yeah he didn't even know how to ride. He told them he knew how to ride. And yeah. then the first day he came home and he was like this. Oh, just totally bullied. Yeah. yeah, because he had saddle sores and they were bleeding. I mean, they were so bad. Oh, poor they had him ride for like 13 hours. Yeah. And um, But it was hilarious because <laughs> he really he had never ridden a horse in his life. He That's lied amazing. to them and told them that he had. And he asked the whole movie, it looks like he has. Really? Like he knows how to ride, but he never knew. And then he got me a horse. And you got you your was, own Mustang. She was a little filly, a year old, and I broke her. I actually was the very first one to ride her. Wow. And she didn't even try to throw me because of the way he did it. Because the way the people at the movie told him how to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. They told him how to do it. It was the coolest thing ever. That's super so cool. that's what it reminds me of with you with the car. Yeah. Because you know? it's like, it's something where you bond. That, yeah. You yeah, know, like, cool. even if we went to go pick up horse doo doo, you know? Yeah. It was still part of the deal. Yeah. Part of the deal. You did it every day. Yeah, you yeah. went to go feed the horse. You know, it was like, that's something you have to do. That's so cool. Yeah. I try to drag these guys in, though, whatever I can. Yeah, it's you know, so I, special. You trip out when you're a parent. You're like, oh, shit, you know, I got to do this. I got to do that. I, I, I need to be buying experiments right. and we need to go do science stuff. It's like, you know, one of my buddies told me, he's like, dude, just as long as you're around them and this is more you just bring them. Anything you yeah. them. Yeah. Anything. You this guys are together. So Those moments, you, you don't realize that adults, we tend to forget special moments. Right. Because we're worried about mortgages, we're worried about car insurance, but, but the this little is ones. Something that they'll have yeah. Ever. Yeah, totally. And it just reminded me of that because I was yeah. thinking about my dad. I was like, man, we had so much fun. And I remember those times when sure. we just spent time together. Sure. And that's, it was the best thing ever. And that's what you're doing with them, and that's awesome. Trying. Doing that. Oh, usually. And so many parents don't. I try to keep them, yeah. Try to keep them in, involved, but sometimes it's hard, huh? When we're super cold and super broken down on the side of the road, it's like, oh, baby, been dad, there. why can't you just get one that runs? Oh, no, I've been there. Been <laughs> no, no, thanks. Yeah, thanks for the, yeah. thanks for the advice. Don't forget, guys. Just enjoy. Oh. Which one's flat? Oh. That, uh, I know that tin is near and dear, but if you had another one, just so I could, but that one, keep that one. That, that one's, but you found that, that film tin. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, or whatever, but yeah, any, any form of that film would be cool. That'd be, that'd yeah. be a super cool piece to go for. I'm sure I could find a digital copy, but if you, if you have one, like even, even if it's tape, like reel to reel, that'd be sweet. Okay. Okay, like a DVD. So that movie was from the 70s, right? Yeah. This is cool. This was an upgrade for Cadillac. It was like in the 70s. The Trihorn. So, okay, late 70s. That's super cool. This this was a, uh, an added option here. Uh, you could get the trumpet, I believe. It may be an aftermarket J.C. Whitney piece, but I don't think it is. I think that's Cadillac. Um, because the bracket hold the holes in the brackets look the same. These are stock, and this was you could uh, I forgot what they call it the trihorn or trumpet horn. Um, <clears throat> you could buy that option if you had a really cool car. You thought you had a cool car at least. Which we do. This is nice too. These always get lost. The license plate delete, but that's special. I had one on the 67, I should have stolen it. So I put it on the 59 because it's gone. It's hard to find. The ramps loose. Where? Yeah. Real ramps, yeah. Pull that one out. <laughs> Keep your wits about you. Uh, I can't. No? No, it's not. <laughs> For you, it was.
should be really good. And spin it the opposite way and tighten them down as it's spinning and it'll tighten them up twice as fast. My dad used to do that. He'd spin it that way and go like that. And bah, 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 bah. I thought it looked super cool. I was probably only seven or eight years old. And it probably wasn't as cool as it looked, but it looked cool. So I'm eight. I'll show you guys next time. So there she is. Got her back on, back on three wheels. She's just a three-legged dog right now. Cause I'm gonna go fix one of my, one of my tires. One of my tires, and it's getting dark. And my boys are getting cold and they have homework. So we're gonna sign off today. Um, and we'll have an update. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a few parts of this car. I'm gonna track it as I, as I fix it up, and I'm gonna start putting up my vids and my other cars and, uh, and making a making a mark in the Cadillac uh, world hopefully so again it's your boy Nico Mega your favorite gringo and um, we'll see you uh, sayonara to the next clip all right peace out everybody Two. all right just for shits and giggles I want to see much better. Let's throw a couple caps on before we bounce out. Fender skirt in. That's why I wear gloves. No, it's not on all the way. All right. Look at that. Oh, it's mint. That thing is in perfect condition now. Can't even tell. Little buff, little detail. <laughs> Just a little bit of, you know, I'm gonna fix her upper, right? Looks, looks better though, actually. I'm feeling it. What do you think, son? It's gonna be a cool project. Looking forward to it. All right. That was the, that was the PS, so peace out.